In today's show, an investing legend who bought 1 million Bitcoin back in 2013 when it was only 80 bucks per BTC reveals his strategy for catching the next big trade. That's right, Shamath P, chairman of spaceflight company Virgin Galactic, who bought 1 million Bitcoin back in 2013, is outlining his investing strategy for spotting the next big trade. He says, smart investors find one big winner and then ride it hard. In today's show, I'll be revealing his investing 101 strategies. Also in today's episode, I'll be sharing Shamath P's bullish Bitcoin price prediction. He says the Bitcoin price can go to $1 million and that everybody should own some. That's right. Check this out. He's predicting that Bitcoin's price could reach a $1 million. And he further suggested that everybody should have 1% of their assets in Bitcoin since it's a fantastic hedge. I'll be discussing this with you in today's show. Also in today's episode, the Bitcoin price is unfazed after literally $150 million is hacked from major crypto exchange. KuCoin, that's right, they reported a major security breach on September 26th, affecting Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as ERC-20 hot wallets, while Bitcoin and Ethereum prices remain unfazed. Also in today's episode, I'll be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, most all the major altcoins back in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this, plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And before I kick off today's show, if interested, tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money, then be sure to smash that link right below the video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. Let's kick it off by diving into today's top story of the day. Investing legend who bought 1 million Bitcoin back in 2013 reveals his strategy for catching the next big trade. Here we go. Shamath P says, great investors focus on slugging percentage, which considers risk management and position sizing, rather than on a batting percentage that focuses only on the returns and does not consider the level of risk involved in achieving them he says smart investors find one big winner and then ride it hard. A great example would be his Bitcoin investment. And now let's check out his investing 101 advice on crypto Twitter. Don't confuse slugging percentage with batting average. The former is being the cool kid in the high school. You're a rare thing and everyone wants to know the secret. The latter is like going to the prom with your mom. Everyone talks about it, but not kindly. And then he continues, investing is all about dollars in, dollars out, or the multiple of investing capital, M-O-I-C, how many good companies you've invested in interest no one who knows anything. How much did you make? What was your entry point? Did you size up or did you ish your pants? And then he continues right here. It's easy to focus on batting average and miss the obvious. I didn't buy Tesla at $300, so I'll pass at 1000 Amazon at 500 Crazy. See you at 200 and he goes on here, all good investors have gotten one big thing right. They focus on slugging percentage. They know when to capitulate, buy up, and when to be risk on and ride the winners. They care more about owning a big piece of one winner versus irrelevant pieces and many winners. Touche. And he continues right here. Take the time to understand what you own so deeply that you can be all in. If necessary, it could never come to pass. But if you had this level of conviction, you will size and add appropriately and let your slugging percentage do all the talking. And he ends it right here. For example, I've made some great bets before, but nothing compares to my Bitcoin bet in 2012 and sizing up slugging percentage PS hodl. So there you have it. If you're going to take investment advice from anyone in crypto, it might as well be from a Bitcoin billionaire such as Shamath P. He made a big bet on Bitcoin back in 2013. At the time, the price of the king coin was only around $80. Could you imagine getting involved in Bitcoin back when it was only 80 bucks? Well, that's when he did. With the flagship crypto currently hovering at around $10,000, his investment is now currently worth over $10 billion. Dollars. Shamath P also says that since the traditional approach of investing in equities and bonds for retirement no longer works, it is a good idea to increase exposure to alternative assets such as cryptocurrency, art, cars, and baseball cards. He says most people currently have between 0 to 5% investments in alternative assets, but this may change if bonds continue to return to zero. And before I break down his bullish $1 million Bitcoin price prediction, first, let's take a look at the overall crypto 
crypto market. We can see Bitcoin and all the major altcoins back in the green, which is a good sign. Bitcoin up 0.6%, now trading just above that $10,600 support. Ethereum up 1.3%, trading just below 350 bucks. We have XRP up a half a percent, trading just below 24 cents. Chainlink surged 30% just yesterday, now up almost 5%, trading at $10.38. I still feel personally that Ethereum and Chainlink are amongst the most undervalued altcoins in the altcoin market. And we have BNB up 3%, trading at 25 bucks. Tron up 5%, trading at 2.7 cents. ADA surged just the other day. Now it's back in the red, trading at 9.3 cents. And now checking out some of the top exchange volume. We can see a sea of green. Again, this is a great sign. Binance up 63% for the day with 9 billion in volume. OKEX up 28% with 2.4 billion. Hobby Global up 29% with 2 billion even. And Kraken up a whopping almost 500 percent with 1.6 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. All right, now let's break down Shamath P's $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. And he also says that everybody, including yourself, should own some. All right, so here's the case for a $1 million Bitcoin price. According to Bitcoin influencer worth $10 billion in Bitcoin, Shamath P, the chairman of Virgin Galactic and founder of investment firm Social Capital, recently discussed Bitcoin and how to invest during the current financial crisis. Now, this is going a few months back on a podcast with Anthony Pompliano, where Shamath was asked about his Bitcoin investment strategy, responding to questions about whether he had bought, sold, or changed the Bitcoin allocation in his portfolio in any Anyway, the venture capitalist revealed the following. In 2013, I bought a lot. And at one point, I think I had almost 5% of all the Bitcoins. My basis is about 80 bucks a coin. I've never bought more. Holy moly, could you imagine controlling 5% of the overall Bitcoin supply? Well, Shamath P once did, and he goes on to share, most of my Bitcoin now sits with the company and they use it for trading purposes. They use it to run a bunch of other strategies, he added. I did that mostly for safety and security and peace of mind. I didn't want to deal with it. I wanted to own equity in the business. That equity can be hedged. That equity can be tax structured advantageously, and then it allows them to run a big business, which generates cash. And I get a cash and dividend stream. He proceeded to confirm that I have not bought since I initially wrote that article for Bloomberg in 2013. So there you have it. The guy currently worth over 10 billion in Bitcoin has not purchased any BTC since 2013. Now, Bitcoin is still a speculative instrument and it's too speculative for it to be reliable, Shamath P. Opine. So if you're going to make the case that it should replace fiat currency, then one thing you have to look at is the volatility of the US dollar and you can't replace it with something that's nine sigmas more volatile. It doesn't work. He then shared his prediction on how he thinks the price of Bitcoin could be over the next 10 years. It's a 10-year trajectory. He began, I've always thought of Bitcoin as a very binary investment, whether it goes from $80 to $8,000 to $6,000 to $3,000 to $13,000. It doesn't matter. Noting that Bitcoin's price will either zero or it's millions. Shamath P asserted the following. What it will do is create a quasi gold standard. It'll create an index, except instead of having to own gold where gold is owned by central banks, it's an instrument that has value that's determined in between its participants and it's owned by everybody. Shamath P has founded six companies and currently serves on the board of nine others, including PsyOps Inc., and Remind 101. He also previously worked at Facebook, Mayfield Fund, AOL, as well as WinMap. And he says that everyone should own Bitcoin. He also discussed Bitcoin investing in an interview with CNBC. The Virgin Galactic chairman reiterated that his view on Bitcoin remain unchanged since he authored the Bloomberg article on the subject back in 2013, elaborating, everybody should probably have 1% of their assets in Bitcoin. Specifically, I still believe that today, and I think Bitcoin is just a fantastic hedge. Now, interesting Interestingly enough, we have companies like MicroStrategy who recently purchased up over a quarter billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Then they doubled up their position, purchasing something ridiculous, now owning over 30 thousand Bitcoin. We have legendary investors such as Paul Tudor Jones, who recently allocated 2% of his overall investment portfolio into Bitcoin. So as you can see, the massive institutional demand is amongst us. And when asked about his thoughts on what Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett said about Bitcoin, Shamath emphasized.
emphasize that the billionaire is completely wrong and outdated on this point of view. Buffett insists that he does not own any Bitcoin and never will, repeatedly saying that it has zero value. He once called the crypto rat poison squared. What makes this also very interesting, as we all know, in recent news, Warren Buffett dumped his bank stocks and picked up gold, which is another safe haven asset. Now, Shamath P clarified to CNBC that investing in Bitcoin should not be event driven. When you wake up and you see a coronavirus scare and the Dow down 2000, you should not be going in and buying Bitcoin. That's an idiotic strategy, he opined. I think a reasonable strategy is say 1% of my net worth should be in something that is completely uncorrelated to the world and how the world works. The Virgin Galactic chairman suggested going into Bitcoin quietly and letting the investment accumulate. He concluded, then you just never look at it again and hope that the insurance under the mattress has never come due, adding, but if it does, it will protect you because that thing will be hundreds of thousands or a million dollars per coin. So there you have it. He believes the Bitcoin price is going to eventually shoot up to a million dollars. Do you agree or disagree? Drop me a comment right down below. And before I break down our next story of the day, this is breaking news. The Bitcoin price unfazed after literally a hundred and fifty million dollar hack of major crypto exchange KuCoin. But first, let's take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see the current market cap is three hundred and forty-two billion, with ninety-two billion in volume in the past twenty-four hours, and current Bitcoin dominance. 57.9%. And now taking a look at the top gainers within the top 100, we have Ren up a whopping 24%, now trading at 23 cents. Cybervane up 21%, trading at 11 cents. YFI, Yearn Finance up a whopping 20% and surging once again, now trading above 28 thousand dollars nano up 16 percent trading at 84 cents and the midas touch gold up 16 percent trading at 2.1 cent below that we have dfi money which is yfii up 15 percent trading at 3500 dollars and now checking out the biggest losers within the top 100 we have dx chain token down about seven percent trading at 0 0.002 theta down almost four percent trading at 65 cents r weave down three percent trading at three dollars and 42 cents zb token down 3% trading at 32 cents and Ocean Protocol down 2.8% trading at 38 cents. Now out of this list of the biggest losers and gainers for the day, which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on? Drop me a comment right down below. And now checking out the BitMEX margins, we can see the bulls are back in control, leading with about 31 million in superiority in the last 24 hours with longs currently leading 51.4% versus 48.5% shorts. Are you currently bullish or or bearish on the king of all crypto, holla at your boy. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 45 in fear. Yesterday was a 46 in fear. Last week, a 48 neutral. And last month, a 75 in greed. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for correction. All right, and before I break down our final story of the day with the Bitcoin price unfazed after a massive $150 million hack on the major exchange KuCoin, first I wanna remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 540 plus videos right here on my channel. Also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at crypto news yes com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video, or if you're tuning in, listening on a different platform, the direct YouTube link is CryptoNewsAlerts.net. You can also find us on all the major podcasting platforms from Apple's iTunes to Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Google Play and Stitcher Radio. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook as I am, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To become a part of it, simply click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram as I am, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat. To join it, simply click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day. In an official statement, the KuCoin CEO confirmed a major hacking attack on September 26. The breach affected the firm's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ERC-20 hot wallets after private keys were leaked. Reports estimate that the breach has affected 150 million in user funds, a sign of the times, just another 
Omen to move your crypto off exchanges where it can easily be hacked. Now, following the security breach, the price of Bitcoin barely moved. However, other major cryptos, including Ether and the centralized finance DeFi tokens, also remain relatively unfazed by the hack. A crypto exchange security breach historically led the market-wide sell-offs due to the fear of hackers potentially selling the proceeds, but Tether has moved quickly to suspend the transfer of assets that are linked to the security breach. Major exchanges, including Bitfinex, also froze USD associated with the hack. The swift response from Tether and top exchanges could prevent most of the funds from being moved by the hackers. Now you're looking at the Bitcoin KuCoin outflows according to CryptoQuant. As you can see, all of this Bitcoin and crypto exiting the exchange all at once. According to Paulo Ordonio, the chief technical officer at Bitfinex and Tether, the two entities froze $33 million in total. If early estimates are accurate and $150 million were hacked, that represents 22% of the lost funds, he says. Bitfinex froze 13 million Tether USDT and EOS as part of the hack. Tether just froze 20 million Tether USDT sitting on this Ethereum address. As you can see right here, precautionary measure, stay safe, everyone. In the official statement, the CEO said KuCoin is now in contact with Hobby, Global, Binance, OKEX, BitMax, and Bybit. The company also said it's cooperating with law enforcement and relevant blockchain projects. At least in the near term, it could make it challenging for hackers to try to move the funds. The CEO said the following, we're in contact with many major crypto exchanges such as Hobby Global, Binance, OKEX, BitMax, and Bybit, as well as blockchain projects, security agencies, and law enforcement to work on this. Some effective measures have been taken, and we will update with more details soon. Let me know if you've ever used KuCoin down below. It's definitely one of the exchanges I've used before, so this comes as a bit of a shock, but at the same time, not really, as exchanges are known to be hacked. Now, while a small amount of hacked funds are in Bitcoin, most are reportedly stored in ERC-20 tokens. Tokens. The risk of the tokens is that hackers could potentially utilize DeFi protocols in an attempt to eliminate tainted tokens. But according to primitive crypto founding partner, Dovi Wan, hackers struggle to handle the tainted funds. She explained the hacker who hacked KuCoin apparently is a DeFi noob, tried to sell on Binance and didn't swap the tainted USDT on Curve. All DeFi infra and natural mixers will ultra low slippage. Hackers with normal IQ will soon figure out this is not some alpha leak and DeFi infra is designed to serve all purposes. If a hacker can hack a centralized exchange, no point he or she has no idea how to successfully liquidate via a decentralized exchange. Now, Bitcoin remains stable above 10,700. That's right. After reclaiming that 10,400 whale cluster that has turned into a support area, Bitcoin has seen a short-term trend reversal, as you can see right here on your screen, looking at the four-hour chart. On September 26th, that whale clusters at 10,400 grew following the recent Bitcoin rally above 10,700. The data indicates that whales have been accumulating above 10,000, depicting an overall strong market sentiment. So there you have it. The market is looking bullish and strong. Once again, the resilience of Bitcoin, despite a high profile security breach, demonstrates the strength of the ongoing uptrend. Now, here's a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show. Investing legend Shamath P, who bought 1 million Bitcoin in 2013, back when it was trading at only 80 bucks, reveals his strategy for catching the next big trade. I shared with you his investing 101 strategies with you right here, as well as his $1 million Bitcoin price prediction and the fact he says everybody should own some. And I also shared with you the latest of the KuCoin hack. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go from here? Drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in, journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And real quick before I go, if interested in tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, then smash that link right below this video in the description and register for this free system entitled OPM Wealth. You'll be glad you did. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.